What's up boss fam? Welcome back to another video. So as you guys can see today we're going to be cooking a lemon pepper seared salmon. I'm so excited. I love salmon. It's a perfect day to cook some fish today. It's actually about 100 degrees here in the valley today. I've just looked on my Apple watch and Pretty hot day. Um, if you guys hear that background noise, it may be our AC and it is blasting right now because of how hot it is. Um, but I'm so excited to cook this dinner because I was actually not even really planning to cook this dinner or film this dinner. Um, I went to Trader Joe's, I got all the ingredients I needed and I was just so shook at how cheap this entire dinner came out. Everything probably cost between 15 and $20 which normally a salmon dinner at a restaurant would have cost me about $40 for two. So I spent between 15 and $20 for the entire meal for two people. Um, I actually have the ingredients or I have the whole bag from Trader Joe's right here. Um, and I actually wanna show you guys how much I spent on everything so that you guys could go ahead, learn how to make it, go buy the ingredients, save yourself a ton of money and cook this dinner at home. So of course I actually got so I got this barbecue cut fresh Atlantic salmon. Um, as you guys can see, this was a total of $10 and four cents. Um, it has the skin on it and it's already pre-cut and it's nice because there's two pieces in it. So it's perfect for a couple, two people, or if you just live with someone else. But yeah, it was $10 and four cents for this cut. I also got, and these are baby red potatoes. Uh, these were $1.79. So $1.79 for this little bag of potatoes. Um, we're gonna be doing salmon with a side of these potatoes, probably gonna cook them in the oven. And then to season them, we're gonna be putting over a little bit of olive oil. And I got this rosemary um, from Trader Joe's as well. The rosemary cost me a total of $1.79 as well. So less than $2. Um, and then I also got to uh, season my salmon. I'm gonna be using lemon pepper. Um, and of course I needed some real fresh lemons. I believe these were only 39 cents each. So I got those as well. Um, and for just dessert later, dessert for the weekend, um, these are actually some of our favorites from Trader Joe's. Uh, they're dark chocolate covered bananas. Super good. These are actually only $2. And what I love about these is that uh, we don't feel guilty eating them. They're just tiny little banana slices. They're like this small. Um, and I bought two boxes because we want them for the rest of the month. So yeah, got all of this. I would say... Um, Oh, by the way, I also forgot. I actually have broccoli in my refrigerator. So if you would have brought the broccoli, that would probably would have been around two or three dollars more. But with the salmon, the potatoes, the rosemary, the lemon, I probably spent a total of fifteen dollars. So I'm gonna do the exact math and I'm gonna put the price up here for you guys of how much I spent at Trader Joe's. Um, but. Pretty much all the other ingredients you may already have in your home. We have some garlic salt for seasoning. As I mentioned, lemon pepper. You're gonna need some butter, some black pepper, and of course, some salt. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys go subscribe. We are about to get to 500 subscribers. Thank you guys for all watching my videos. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so for the first step, I'm gonna go ahead and dice up my potatoes. So once again, these are my red baby potatoes. Um, it's just two people. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and dice these into fours and I'm gonna toss them into my baking sheet. Um, I'm actually gonna be putting these in the oven. So I'm currently preheating my oven right now to 350 degrees. Uh, and once it's ready, I'm gonna pop these bad boys in. Uh, now I'm not sure if I'm gonna use, I think this was one, two, three, four, five, six uh, baby potatoes. Uh, we don't really want leftovers because I mean, we don't have salmon for tomorrow. Um, so we really just want this for today. Um, but let's see if um, six potatoes is enough. And you know, just depending on how big you want your pieces, you could choose to cut them in fours or cut them in twice. Um, I think these are pretty big, so I'm cutting them in half and then really into four pieces. So just we'll have, you know, various sizes. Um, I see some of these are a little bit too big just for my personal preference. So I'm gonna go ahead and dice them a little bit smaller. All right, so I'm looking at my pan. It looks like this might be um, enough for two people if I kind of divide these in half. So I'm actually gonna be saving these other four. And look, now I have four other potatoes for another meal. All right, so 
So to season, I'm gonna grab some olive oil. I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle that on top. I'm gonna go in with some salt, not too much. Some pepper. And then now we have some garlic salt. All right, season all of that. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my rosemary and I'm just gonna go ahead and put chunks of this or sprinkle this on top, just like this. Make sure you guys wash your, your, um, your herbs before, your herbs before, um, because you just never know if someone touched them, opened them. You wanna make sure I also wash my potatoes, um, especially right now during the pandemic, right? Wanna be mindful when we're washing everything. But really what I'm doing, I'm just kind of grabbing one of the stems and just ripping it apart so that those little leaves um, stick to every potato. And then you could do this with your hand, you could do this with a spoon, but what you're gonna wanna do is, um, you're just gonna wanna make sure you mix everything in here. So I'm gonna do this with my hands. My hands are clean, I wash them. Probably wash them like 200 times before cooking. And as you guys can see, I'm breaking this up a little bit. Make sure those individual stems come off that little rosemary branch. And then I'm just gonna make sure that all of my uh, seasoning is on all of my potatoes. All right, so here is what my potatoes look like. As you guys can see, there's not too much oil in there, um, just enough. Um, and just depending on how ham you guys wanna go on the rosemary, uh, you just wanna make sure that the rosemary uh, lands on the potatoes and really not the plate so that that flavor kind of bleeds onto the uh, potatoes, right? So we're gonna go ahead and wait for our oven to beat for 350, pop these bad boys in there. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get started on making our seasoning. So I'm gonna go grab a little bit of lemon pepper. Um, actually, not a little bit. I'm gonna be grabbing one tablespoon of lemon pepper. Now remember, this is enough for two salmon, so Obviously, if you make double, or if you make more, you're gonna need a little bit more than these ingredients. But here we have one tablespoon of lemon pepper. Next, we're gonna go with half a tablespoon of garlic salt. I'm gonna do about one teaspoon of black pepper. Awesome, so you guys can see everything there. Just gonna get my little spoon. Mix them all together. Just like this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna get one tablespoon of butter, and this is gonna be for the top of my salmon. And you could use olive oil if you'd like. Um, I wanna use butter because I'm gonna kind of sear this in butter. So just gonna get one tablespoon. I'm gonna pop it in the microwave for about 10 seconds, just so that this melts. So let's pop it in the microwave. See, let's do 10 seconds. Well, that's 43, but let's see how long it takes. 33. Beautiful, and as you can see, 10 seconds was my solid number. Just gonna kind of mix this so that those bottom pieces melt in here as well. So I got my melted butter. I have my seasoning. We are ready to go ahead and prep our salmon. So let me... All right, boss fam. So we have our two salmons. I'm gonna be using my melted butter on here. I'm gonna grab about maybe a little bit over than uh, one teaspoon or a little bit half of that. Um, I'm gonna put that on here. I'm gonna save a little bit for the other side. So I wanna make sure that this is buttered all the way. Flip this over. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of what's left for the opposite side where the skin is at. Flip these bad boys back over. Now I'm gonna grab my seasoning and just gonna sport uh, maybe about obviously half of it on both of them. And then I'm gonna save a little bit for the other side. So just using my hands, my clean hands, I'm gonna make sure that this is all patted on here. And really that butter just helps all of the seasoning stick together and it gives it that good buttery taste that we all love on salmon. I'm gonna flip these bad boys to the other side. Give them a little spanky spanky. And now season, season your skin. 
I don't know about you guys, but I love eating a nice crispy skin. Um, I feel like it's just like so good. Some people get grossed out with the skin, but you could totally eat it um, when you when you know when you cook it. Um, I think it just adds a really nice crispy taste to the to your salmon. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of grabbing the sides and making sure that everything is seasoned here. And if you guys want to skip the butter and or maybe not do any or maybe switch the butter for olive oil, you guys are totally welcome to do that. Uh, for us personally, we thought butter would just give it a really good taste that we you know that we like on salmon. So just like that. Now let's go ahead and get our pan ready with some butter. Okay, so in a, in a medium sized pan, I put two tablespoons of butter. And what you wanna do is you wanna brown your butter. So you wanna put the heat on medium and let this butter melt. And eventually it's gonna get into a dark brown color. Once it's that, to that color, we're gonna go ahead and add our salmon. So let's just give this a couple seconds. It shouldn't take too long to brown the butter. All right, so we've let this sit in here for about four minutes and you guys can see that the butter went from like a golden yellow color now to more of a brown color. And this is exactly the way we want it to be. So now that our butter is, uh, I think pretty hot enough, Let's go ahead and toss in our salmon. Now I'm gonna be doing the uh, skin side down first for a total of three minutes on this side. I'm gonna be putting both at the same time. All right, balsam, so we did three minutes on the skin side. I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over to about four minutes on the opposite side. Probably go back here. Mm, look at my skin, nice and crispy. Perfect, so I'm gonna do four minutes on this opposite side. All right guys, so we're about halfway cooked through these those four minutes, so it's been about two minutes. And what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna squeeze one lime on this salmon, one whole lime, okay? Sorry, right, well this is half of a, a lime. See? And I'm gonna grab the other half and I'm gonna squeeze it onto the other side. I'm using a spoon. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the juice, that juice here at the bottom. I'm gonna pour it to the top. So it's lime juice, it's butter. You could just imagine all that extra flavor that we're pouring on top of our salmon. Okay, so I'm gonna get ready to go ahead and boil my broccoli. For this, I'm just gonna sprinkle in a little bit of pepper on top. I like pepper a lot, I like my broccoli and vegetables with some pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on this and we're just gonna go ahead and steam it. There's water here at the bottom. So, all right, so this has cooked for a total of four minutes on this side. Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna grab my spoon and I'm gonna cook the sides. I like to get the sides to be nice and crispy. So I'm just gonna do this and maybe for about 30 seconds, cook it on each side. All right, boss fam, so I pulled out all of my potatoes. You can see they got a little bit crispy in there. I think they these probably took the longest to cook, but they are pretty ready, as you guys can tell. Uh, we baked them in here for about, I wanna say 30 minutes almost. So maybe I needed to bump up my uh, oven a little bit higher. It was at 350, then I did 375, and I think after 375, they really started cooking faster. So let's go ahead and plate this. As you guys can see, I have my um, broccoli already steamed and ready to roll, and I pulled out my salmon. We're gonna go ahead and get a little bit of the potatoes. Ooh, and these are like nice and crispy, as you guys can tell. And grab some broccoli. That's nice and green. Just wanna make sure that you guys cook your broccoli to perfection. 
I personally love broccoli, so I gotta make sure I leave enough for Lucy. Um, and there you have it, you guys. Here is your delicious salmon plate. Mm. And then of course, I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle in some lemon on my broccoli, and then just a little bit on the salmon. So, there you go. All right, let's go ahead and do a little taste test. All right, boss fam, there you have it. Delicious pan seared lemon pepper butter salmon. Super good, super um, easy to make, super easy to follow. Um, I'm actually really excited to try the potatoes first. Um, they were cooking in there, like I said, about 30 minutes, so they're pretty crispy. And like right away when you open the oven, you smell that fresh rosemary. So lots of good flavor in there. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. I think these are better than french fries. Mmm. They're just like perfectly cooked, perfectly crispy. All right, let's dive into the salmon. So if you guys could see this, I think we did a really good job of seasoning it. Seasoning it. And as you guys can tell from my close up, everything in there looks pretty cooked. So right amount. All right, let's dive it right in. Mmm. Oh, wow. It's literally like a, a bite full of like lemon. It's just so good and, and zesty. Mmm. Perfect like grilled crustiness at the top. Like, and even in the bottom, the skin is pretty crispy as well. Wow. Mmm. And I love broccoli. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is delicious. And you guys, this meal would have probably costed you, like I said, $40 at Cheese Steak Factory. If you guys look up their menu on how much of their salmon plate is, it's like $20 a person. And I made two plates of this and I have leftover potatoes. So that could be for another meal, but yeah, $15 I spent at Trader Joe's for this meal for two people. So think about that. Next time you guys wanna go eat at a restaurant, ask yourself, can I cook this at home? So there you have it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys subscribe, join the Boss Fam, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.